Hello and welcome to today's edition of the Magenta Show here with me, Moira Bush. I'm the host and I've got two fabulous people in the studio today. They are an extraordinary couple and you do not want to miss what we're going to be talking about today. Mia and Andy Tor, welcome. Hello, Moira. Thank you for having us, Moira. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much for being here. So to stay tuned and please share, share, share today if you like what you here and what we discuss here if you love the colors that we're going to be talking about please share 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 it's the only way we get a message on mm -hmm. facebook out there we kind of have to beat those algorithms right. that, that keep right. tripping us up in business right <laughs> takes an army <laughs> it takes an army you're the army today our own social media army <laughs> i love it i love it so um What's going to be happening today is you, first of all, for those of you who are familiar with the show, for those of you who are new to the show, very, very big warm welcome. You need to feel, are you drawn to the number one, the number two, or the number three today? And then whichever one you're drawn to at the end of our show, we're going to give you a very special color guided message and a little color alert for the upcoming week. Which, and I think it's a very important week because we're just coming out of this big lunar eclipse. Mm -hmm. I know we've been chatting mm -hmm. a bit about it. Yeah. There's been some hectic energies. People yes. are feeling blocks and stuck and yes. creativity has gone out mm -hmm. the window. So you really want to stay tuned until <laughs> the end of the show. Let's see if we can help and use some of the colors that yes. we, we, we picked for the audience to unblock some of what you're stuck with. Okay. So... There's a reason I'm actually very excited that it, besides it being the most handsome couple that I've seen in a long time, is Andy is has South African roots like me. That's right. <laughs> I know right. it. <laughs> <laughs> With all the all the colours as well have South African roots. Right? So. That's yeah. right. Yeah. The bottle's actually made in South Africa by Melissa Jolly. She's the founder mm. of the Colour Mirror system and this is her system that I've been wow. working with for about sixteen years now and, and I've seen just thousands of people's lives changed. So it's such an honor to to be able to have a studio and to have guests come in and for you to allow me to play with you with the colours. And, and get to know you and then us meeting it's like the audience eavesdrops and gets to know a little bit about what we yes. do so it's a really nice way to do a show i think well it's such a privilege to be here thank you for having us mm -hmm. we're, we're so, excited so come on tell 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 our south african friends you know what what's the story with south africa andy well, I'm, I'm six generation south african and came here as a little boy mm -hmm. uh, was about four and a half when i moved here so i consider myself canadian but with roots yeah mm -hmm. and Unfortunately, my aunts and uncles and grandparents and most of my extended family all stayed in South Africa and I didn't get back until I was 18 wow. and did a gap year in between high school and university and okay. revisited my, my home country and, and met many relatives for the first time and understood my roots. Yeah. Which part of South Africa did you go visit? You? I spent most of my time in the, in the Cape province, so a lot of time in oh, Cape Town. Okay. Shout out to all the Cape Townians. <laughs> our, our family has a, a cottage in a little place called Nature's Valley, which is oh. near Port Elizabeth. Oh, yeah, that's where I'm from. Yep. IP people. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a little slice of heaven because it's bordered on three sides by Nature Reserve yes. and one side by the ocean. Oh, so it's, it's close to, as close to paradise as yeah. I've ever experienced. Yeah. But of course, it's quite a trip to get there, so we don't go back very often. Yeah. Have you have you ever been? I've there? never been. Though there are pictures of it hanging in our room, so I feel like I have a virtual trip there yeah. every time I come into my bedroom. But I've never gone. Okay, so so this is something for the future. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, and you've also yeah. got babies. We do. Yeah. <laughs> so when they when they grow a little bit older and they're a little bit more can appreciate a trip like that, mm -hmm. you know, I highly recommend you go to Africa yes. and, and and show them the roots and go and show me what it's like mm -hmm. out there. Yeah. Well, the plan is to do a world tour with the kids because I've got roots in Africa. God, he, and this, is, this is like <laughs> Africa, <laughs> Africa, we're world touring. <laughs> Mia's got roots in Southeast Asia, yeah. we both yep. have roots in Europe, and yep. so we, we just want to give our kids the opportunity to explore the yeah. world with us yeah. for a year. So what, that's one of the big goals that we a have. Oh yeah, okay, lives. that's amazing. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah no, that, that's, that's, that's what it's about. It's Because you, you have this expansion that happens in your yes. consciousness when you travel. When you go to other countries, things in your mind it begins to shift, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. So the reason that I met 
the two of you is because of Jennifer Beale. That's yes. right. Shout out to Miss Jennifer, Jennifer Beale. <laughs> <laughs> she, she, she said to me, you guys were um, going to be the speakers at the event, which I'm also going to mm-hmm. be. And I'm not a speaker. I'm doing coaching corner and doing an exhibition. Mm-hmm. And then she said, come to this breakfast meeting and let's talk about what you need to do as exhibitors to prep yes. for, for it. So you can get the most out of this networking. Uh, the summer networking bash is what she's called it. Yes. And she's been doing it for, but this is the 14th year, I think. So she's been doing it for a long time. Yes. And so I went to the breakfast meeting. I took hubby along because my son, you know, he was my business manager, was in Italy having oh, a lovely time. Lovely. So I had to work all by myself. So I wrote hubby in. And there the two of you did a presentation that knocked my socks off. <laughs> and, and, and honestly, guys, you should see these two in action. You stood up at one point, Andy, and then you go, oh, well, I think Mia can come in now. And then Mia gets up and talks. And then you did this effortless dance where you co-presented <laughs> and gave the floor to each other. And it was so powerful, mm. so balanced, and so beautiful. Thank and you. then, of course, the information you gave is relevant. So I furiously made notes. <laughs> I saw you writing. I know. You were in your notebook taking some notes. I was learning. <laughs> so my whole, the whole way that I'm approaching this particular exhibition mm. I'm doing it totally different to how I've done it before because of your presentation and because of the information you get. So, of course, I had to hurry back to Vistaprint as well and get a whole bunch of new stuff printed as well. (laughs) One of the things, one of the tips I took on board that you gave was to create an activity for for people to engage with at your at your table yes i really like that why do you think that's important why 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 create something that they have a takeaway from or that it's a game or a prize or Mm. why is that important at exhibitions i think it helps both of you it it helps you as the exhibitor or the vendor get out of your own way Mm -hmm. i think we get so focused and so nervous about our offer that you show up at an event and you tend to have this monologue. Yeah. We monologue and we monologue. And you, you, you have this out-of-body experience where you, you watch yourself talking to these people. Oh, I've had but, that. <laughs> <laughs> but when you, when you have an activity that encourages a dialogue instead of a monologue, it's more memorable for both of you. Mm. You, you engage with these people differently. Mm-hmm. You see each other human to human. Yeah. Not seller and buyer, mm. not exhibitor and guest, but as a human being yeah. to a human being, having a real conversation. Mm. And it helps you extend that relationship beyond the one visit. Wow. Right? And it helps them to remember you yeah. as well. Because and it's a lovely way to gather emails. Absolutely. To be able to start building a database yes. just to continue to work on a relationship with the mm. people that you meet at the table. Sure. Yeah. I'm actually going to do something weird now. I'm going to ask producer Shannon. She's got a cupboard behind her. To go in the cupboard, there's a box, and inside that box is a couple of um, Vista print banners. One of them is the the new one I've just designed because of me and Andy. Yeah. I should have thought about having this out before the show, but it's <laughs> so just cool. spontaneous. Wow. This is a conversation. This is how this yes. works, right? Well, so Shannon cool. will pass it to me. Thank you, darling. Oh, fantastic. So what do you think of that? Oh, so this I is a good it. time to get a test, right? So yes. this is it. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Um, so what it is... I thought what I would do, and this is this is the notes I literally made mm-hmm. as you were speaking, wow. the two of you at the presentation. I thought, because I'm going to do a love and money coaching session at mm-hmm. Jennifer's event, I thought, get people to pick a colored dot. Although mm-hmm. they're going to have all the bottles there, this is this is about giving them something to take home. They can't take all the bottles home, right? Yes. Pick a colored dot, and your first challenge is what you're going to clear. The second one is what is you going to action, and two, what is your potential? Mm-hmm. And then to say, I can give you this analysis sheet, and you go home and play with other people, with your clients, with family, friends, and give me your email, and I'm going to email you the yeah. color manifesto. So I've got actually about a five or six page document with information for them. Fantastic. That they can t- that I will email to them after the show as a PDF. Yes. Love it. Do you like? Yeah. Yes. Pick, Absolutely. Pick a color. <laughs> point. <You> point. <laughs> Quick color analysis. I, I'm always drawn to my very favorite, which is uh, the, the yeah. turquoise. Turquoise. So your challenge to clear. Yes. And it's, it's it, I remember what I wrote in the manifesto. That says the challenge to clear right now for you mm. is more technology. You need mm. to engage with more technology. Okay. So may, maybe your own TV show like okay. this. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> Intent. <laughs> All right. And let's see what you can pick as an action now, Andy. For me, mm-hmm. uh, I'm drawn to this color right here. Ooh, yeah. the blue color. So that's about more speaking engagements, um, saying yes to more presentations, mm-hmm. opening mm-hmm. yourself up to, you know, to do more talks. But of mm-hmm. course, they're coming to do one at my place too. So you said yes, <laughs> you said yes. Wonderful. Okay, do you like it? Yeah, I love that's it. fantastic. Yeah, yeah. And you know what I love about this is that it gives people a little win. Mm. right away you know you mm. can have a have a fun experience choosing the colors and it gives them a little bit of insight and a little bit yeah. of knowledge and that allows you to build trust 
Yeah. And and that's really important in the early part of building a relationship, a relationship with someone yeah. is, is having a little bit of trust. And, and fun, because this and is fun. fun. This is yes. fun. This fun, fun to me. Having some joyful yeah. moments is very key in business to Absolutely. make money. Yeah. Thank you so much for doing this. I'll just pass that. Shannon, thank <laughs> you, darling. So what now? What do you feel? You, you're, you're really marketing experts. I mean, mm -hmm. you, you have such an amazing program. What do you feel is the number one process or, or block that young entrepreneurs, small business owners have that they are maybe unaware of or they don't know how to overcome and you solve that problem for them? What is that big problem they have? How do you solve it? We, we both have different takes on it. Okay, so it's going to be so great. Yes. You each give me your version of what you think it so is. So we, we have a local networking group here in, mm -hmm. in Toronto, mm -hmm. and we have about a 1,000 members. And so we have this opportunity to, to ask this kind of question of, of business owners on the ground quite frequently. And I think that one of the challenges that, that new business owners have is they get really fixated on selling their thing, whether it's a product or a service yeah. or an opportunity. And quite often, the thing that they have is something that, anybody could use, whether it's skincare products or insurance or, um, you know, financial advice or supplements or whatever it may be. And so they try to sell to everybody. Mm -hmm. And there's a saying in marketing, if you're selling to everyone, you're selling to no one. If you're selling to everyone, you're selling to no one. Hashtag, yes. hashtag, please. <laughs> my team, especially, this is, yes. I've been trying to get this into my team's head now for ages, saying mm -hmm. you must have a specific target client. Yeah. Yes. You sell to everybody, you're selling to nobody. And there's a psychology around that too, mm -hmm. because people value expertise. Yeah. And so if you if you niche your offer, yeah, if you say, yeah. I'm an expert in working with this type of client and helping them solve this particular problem, and I have this product or this service which helps them to achieve that transformation, then you're positioned as an expert. Yeah. And people can really value you more. And also if you're selling to everyone, and if you'll take anybody who comes along, well, that's perceived as desperate. And yeah. nobody wants to do business with somebody who's desperate for clients. Mm -hmm. And so there's a real psychology around targeting. And as the business owner, if you're targeted on only serving a particular segment of the marketplace, that allows you to focus all of your resources mm -hmm. into serving that one thing instead of splashing mm -hmm. them all around and you're very quickly running out of time and money. Mm -hmm. I know when, when I was getting business and mentoring advice, and I was, to, I was told to create a client avatar. And, 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 and luckily, I had met somebody that was my ideal client avatar. Mm -hmm. And uh, and I... and. And I focused on that this is who I want to serve. And suddenly, the minute I did that, more duplicates yes. of her problems and her yes. issues that I knew that my business could resolve started arriving. Yes. So it's very, very important to do that. And the resistance around the ideal client is people are concerned that, well, if I, if I target mm. too, too much, then what about all of these other people? Mm. That, and they get into a scarcity mindset. Yeah. But as you mentioned, once you know who you're selling to and who you can serve best, those people show up. Yeah. And other people show up that they you can show help as well. The, yes, they do. But yeah. it allows but you, you know, to really I, focus. I, do you know what I think it is, Andy? When you're when you're in a spiritual mindset or, or heart centered business, and you want to serve and help everybody, everybody, you have this. Yes. You, your heart is so expansive and open that you feel you could serve the whole world, right? Yes. And then to be told by a business mentor or a marketing <laughs> expert, like it's like narrow it down. It's like it goes against yes. the grain of the feeling you have that yes. you want to save the world, yes. that you want to change the world. So it is always difficult but I, I I've had to I had to learn that the hard way because mm -hmm. I was like I was gonna save the whole world I mean I was going <laughs> global really you go local first you know yes. kind of kind of really get your local yeah. market up and running and yes. then see who you know where, where, what the next stage is yes Absolutely. grow local so, and then scale it's true yeah. and then scale yeah yeah, yeah. So, I had to learn that the hard way yeah. <laughs> well, somebody posted to our Facebook group and they it was it was a quote and I can't recall who said it but they said you can be or oh, I think it was Dita Vontis said you can be the juiciest, ripest peach in the world yeah. and you'll still run into people who hate peaches. <laughs> right? So you can serve the entire world. But, you know, when you yeah. do come from that abundance mindset, yeah. even if you narrow down to a profile of someone who is so specific, yeah. given this great, big, beautiful world, you will never run out of people to That's talk right. to. Yes. And you are providing this powerful opportunity for that person to see themselves reflected in your description yeah. and say, oh, that's me. Yeah. She's talking to me. And that relationship is so powerful. That's where the magic happens. Yeah. And other people are drawn to it. Yeah. People who are not your ideal client will be drawn to that, that energy, that momentum, because you are so specific. 
Wow. Yeah. No, that's yeah. exactly, I agree with you 100. Oh, it's so nice to have you guys <laughs> to chat live because, you know, we would probably have a business meeting mm -hmm. and we chat and find out about each other's business yeah. and nobody else would know what the heck we get up to. Yes. So isn't technology wonderful it's that we amazing. can share it this way that's with terrific. everyone yeah. else? Yeah. All right. Yeah. So what do you think is a big problem that you identify, Mia, for, mm. for business owners? I work with a lot of business owners on how they present what they do. And it's always a shift from being self-focused to being focused on others. Yeah. And it is a shift between my, my, my product. We, we get into business to serve because we have something that we think can transform lives. Very rarely do you get into business just, just to make money, at least the people we're talking to. Yeah. So there's this, there's this piece where you know the people can benefit from what you're doing, but you're so focused on the products and the features and all, all of this list of things that you want to present that you forget to consider the other person yes. as, as the living, breathing human being who's absorbing all of this, who has a problem for you to solve. So yes. taking your words and shifting it to you instead yes. of to me. Yes. What are you facing right now? What is the thing that your client is complaining about? Start there yes. because your solution is a, it's a blind spot for them. It is. So if you go leading with the solution, they say, oh, I, I don't need that. I don't need that. Here's the thing I'm complaining yeah. about. So meet them where they are and really listen. Yeah. And then you can create dialogue around that. And that it's a small shift. It's a difficult shift to shift out of that promotion, especially when you're passionate. But and especially at exhibitions, because in exhibition, exhibitions. You, you, you're kind of really saying, right? people come say, well, what do you do? Now, yes. you, you can imagine me with all these bottles. I'm standing yes. there and I go, well, what's this? Is it perfume? <laughs> is it, you know, what is it? And, and so easily I can go mm. into, well, this is, this is what this, the sales pitch of what it is, you know, yes. the, the explanation of what mm. it is. And I've learned over the years to pull back, like you say, and yeah. go into, well, they're here because they have a problem. They yes. stopped at this table and this energy has pulled mm. them in. They have a problem. So I first go to them and say, well, do you have an issue you'd like resolved exactly. in your life? Pick a color and let's have a conversation. Exactly. And immediately switched it around to that. Yeah. 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 That's exactly the yeah. shift. Now, I remember, um, you probably don't like me for saying this, guys, but I remember going to, to an exhibition when I first landed in Canada with my husband. And we came across one, we were just, we weren't exhibiting, we, we were just visiting this particular mm. exhibit. We came across these two ladies, God, I hope they're not watching right now, they don't know exactly who they are. <laughs> <laughs> but we came across these two ladies who had this device that apparently made you poop in a different position. Oh, and they said, you need this. And I'm like, what? <laughs> I just, you know, if you do this, this is what it's going to do for you. And what? And I'm going, you haven't even asked me if that's a problem for me. <laughs> <laughs> and and I, I was like backing off the more, backed off the most. They were pushing these devices in my face. Wow. And, and of course, in, you know, you could just see people bypassing mm -hmm. that table because mm -hmm. there was this, there was that pushiness. This, here's yes. the product that works. You need it without yeah. even bothering to know, hello, who are you? What's yes. your name? What's your problem? So that, that's an actual physiological response. And mm -hmm. one of the most powerful things that, that we've learned, which we try as much as possible to remind business owners about is the danger of the unsolicited sales pitch. Yeah. So when you receive an unsolicited sales pitch, it actually triggers a very primitive response in the most primitive part of your brain. It's a, it's a fight or flight, fight response. Or flight. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so that response evolved to keep you alive. But in the modern <laughs> age, where your survival is more or less a given, it wards against things that are unpleasant, like yeah sales pitches mm -hmm. so yeah. when and you that receive... device looked like it was yes. gonna kill yeah. me and what was your response it was Flight. like in front of front, right? yeah. or yeah. punch <laughs> <laughs> run away or, or protect yourself yeah. right yeah, it was. So it's well, not polite to do that so. if you if you ever want to benefit from the magnificent advice and <laughs> expertise that Mia and Andy has mm -hmm. you guys have got to come and meet us we're all exhibiting and actually you guys are doing a talk on the 15th of August, and it's Jennifer Beale mm -hmm. Summer Networking Bash. We will put the, the promotion codes up. We've, she's extended the the gift that we're giving you guys. You can get 35% mm -hmm. off your ticket if you arrive there. And Shannon will put the links up and the promo codes for you on the screen. Okay, she mm -hmm. said she's done that. Okay. Yeah. What are you actually going to be talking about at your, because um, you're keynote mm -hmm. speakers, what are you yes. going to present? We're talking about networking secrets. So Ooh. some of these things that we're talking mm -hmm. about now, but what can you do when you go to... A big networking event or a small networking event, mm. especially if you're an introvert, especially if you're one of these people who look at a big room and you think, who do I talk to? And what do I say? And <laughs> what do I say next? So we're going to talk about how you can turn those casual conversations into business connections. And how do you do that 
authentically? How do you do that and create relationships that are going to serve your business, whether or not those people become clients, and do yeah. it consistently? Well, that, that, that's yeah. one of the things I really like about you too in your business is you, you call yourselves the authentic networker. Yeah. And that, that's actually a website, authenticnetworker.com, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Authenticnetworker.com, okay. yes, definitely. Because th- th- that, that you, want, you want to have authentic relationships and connections with people. So, mm-hmm. Well, yeah, we're in a relationship that. economy. You know, yeah. People yeah. want to do business with mm-hmm. people that they know and like and trust. Yeah. And yeah. most people who are in business are trained to sell the thing mm-hmm. that they sell. But they're not trained on how to build a relationship that yeah. gets that builds up to a sales conversation, mm-hmm. and that's mm-hmm. really where we try to serve. Yeah. And then you get the other end of it, where as an entrepreneur, you become so personally connected to your product or, or what you deliver that you find it hard to sell it because it's so close to to you. You go, well, it works yes. for me. You should buy it because it works for you. But yes. you, you forget that there's steps between <laughs> where they're gonna yes. accept what you say. You're exactly uh, right. Yeah. It goes one of both ways, or one of two ways. So either you promote so much that you lose yourself mm. or you're so worried about becoming that promoter that you don't you don't sell. Yeah. And I find that people fall into one of those two camps. Yeah. And well, it's hard. Well, it's hard. guys, yeah. honestly, come to 15th of August, come and meet Andy and Mia, please, and and hear what they have to say. And I also just want to give a shout out to my team. Andy and Mia are going to be special presenters on the 12th of September. Mm-hmm. I'm bringing my two boot camp and my color mirrors mentoring groups together and the, you, the, you're going to do a presentation yes. and uh, and literally read them the right act when it comes to okay. marketing and exhibiting. <laughs> we can't wait. Okay. You can boot camp that night. We can boot camp. Yeah. All right. We're now, parents. We'll bring the parent energy. I would, I would like to help the two of you. Um, if you got to sew together, I'm not even sure how I can help at this point, but I would really like to offer you a color reading and, yes. and to see if there's a problem that we can help resolve or shed some color light on. So Thank you. is there something you, I can help you with? Mm-hmm. Would you like to go? For it? Sure. Uh, well, the thing that we were talking about earlier mm-hmm. was what we what we are facing with the lunar eclipse, and of course, we we had a group coaching call with our group last night, and as we said to you, everybody felt stuck. Like there yeah. was the, there were these obstacles, mm-hmm. and of course, I had my birthday on the lunar eclipse, so I thought, what does it mean? It's got to mean something that I'm starting my year from this place, yeah. and so I think the thing that we are facing is tying together our business and our family. Because we have three children, we have two businesses, and we have one marriage. And between all of these things, and luckily our marriage creates this solid foundation. We couldn't do any of the things we do without our ability to communicate with each other. And I think what we've done in the last year and a half has been extraordinary. But we are struggling sometimes to continue to be present with these three beautiful little people who, mm. they're, they're kids and they're being kids and they have so many yeah. questions. And we're running a business from home at the same time and we have very little childcare support. Yeah. So when we are, and I, I think it's surprised us how fast our audience has grown mm-hmm. and how visible we've become, which is a beautiful thing, but now we've got to up-level these strategies to mm-hmm. stay in that place where we can be present for them, present for each other, and, and present for our business. Successful. Yes. Absolutely. successful, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So and, that's the you thing. You know, and this is, this is a very common um, problem. Mm-hmm. So for those of you in the audience who are trying to establish a, a, a business as a couple, mm-hmm. you're married and you also have other responsibilities like children, and you are, or you're re- like you two are already in business and it's going and you want to upscale, but you don't yes. want to miss those moments yeah. with, the, with the kiddies. I mm-hmm. don't know what that's like because I was a single mum. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> also, it was it was a tough, tough stuff. Kudos so I you. understand that. Yeah. So, okay, let's have a look what the colors are. The colors will have a conversation with us. And let's just see if some wisdom can be shared on this for you. Mm-hmm. So I'd like you each to turn around and pick a bottle and put it on the light box for us, please. Okay. okay. And it can be any of the bottles that you, you're, you're, oh. you're looking at behind you. Just one. Mm-hmm. They're also pretty. I guess, Every there, time but... I watch your show, I'm picking from my <laughs> screen. I'm, I'm drawn to this one right now. Okay. Fabulous. That one. I'll, I'll leave room for yours. Is this a good spot for? Yeah. Excuse me. Uh, we, we, we changed the set so we can get two chairs in and have them have our guests have full access to the bottle. So oh, I like that. We're figuring this one out. All right. Okay. okay. So the question here is, as a couple, how do you upscale while not losing a focus of the now moments with your, your um, you know, with all the babies you have? Mm-hmm. Because your businesses is really, you yes. know, they're, those they're toddlers, they're kind of a year and a half old mm-hmm. now, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. And, in, and 
Um, very often what happens is, uh, first of all, the magenta, this is bottle 19 and this is bottle 7. So Mia picked 19 and it's magenta on top of the gold. And Andy has picked 7 and it's a solid turquoise bottle. And this is called Prince of Heaven and this one's called, the 7 um, is called Neptune. So first of all, with the magenta, there's this there's tendency you can go into overwhelm. Now here's something that happens in people like yourself who have heart-centered businesses. And this is for you guys out there as well. Often when you are beginning to get successful with a project and it's beginning to get traction, more and more people are interested. It's, you can feel their energy before mm -hmm. they even know yes. or have made a, a material connection with you. So on a spiritual mm -hmm. level, the energy is already coming towards you and suddenly you can go into an overwhelmed situation or panic going, <gasps> how am I going to service all these people? I haven't got time. I'm a mom, you know, I'm a wife, I'm a dad, I'm, I've got a house to clean, I've got babies to look after. It's like, you know, and, and really how, you know, you get that feeling that because so very often with this, with this kind of combination with the gold and magenta, it's just take a moment to just take a deep breath and go, it hasn't happened yet. Yes. All right. It, you, what you're doing is getting this futuristic feeling of energy coming towards you that's going to make demands of your time. And you haven't yet figured out what all the steps are that's going to meet that wall of demand coming because mm -hmm. you are going to be successful. I mean, without a doubt, I've seen the two of you in action. What you do is absolutely amazing. So you know it's going to grow globally. Mm -hmm. And so I just want to say to you guys, just unpanic for now. A lot of what you're feeling overwhelmed is energy that hasn't yet presented itself in a physical oh, form. Right. It's like a wave of spiritual energy because people are picking up on your thread, mm -hmm. on, on your heart-centered connection that you're putting out into the world. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yes, that absolutely. makes huge sense. Okay, yeah. so absolutely. unpanic. Okay. okay. And, and, yes. and also, you, this is the, the, the turquoise is you've got to have trust that when that wave of demand for, for more of your time, more of your energy from the business world begins to happen for you, the systems are going to be in place. Mm -hmm. And again, I want to say to you, the systems has got to be taken Technical. Mm. So mm -hmm. right now I know you have an academy that you that people can um, buy a program and they study um, through this online academy. Yep. So just know that all the other things that you're going to do also is just going to be this online process is going to be automated and it's going to be easy. Yay. But your engagement with people <laughs> and, and, and some of your teaching needs to be live workshops, mm -hmm. but exclusive live workshops. Yes. And um, definitely the, I feel, you know, the technology, very similar to what we're doing here. You know, mm -hmm. this is the way to do it now. This is the way yes. to let people know um, where you're at. Absolutely. Okay. So I'd like you each to pick a bottle then it represents um, the children. Mm -hmm. Okay, so one each okay. pick a bottle for the for, for that represents your to the children. One bottle per child, or one for all three. One for all three. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is just to see your the the, the energy th thread or the the challenge between you and the children and and this this is whole there, vision that you've got sitting on the table. Is there a bottle with little Legos in it anyway. <laughs> Cheerios. A Lego. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny, we need a Lego Cheer bottle. Cheerios. <laughs> Cheerios. <laughs> Cheerios and pull-ups and Legos. And okay. You pick one too, Mia. Oh. you got to pick one too. Of course. Too. I have to pick one as well. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't have a Lego one though, but uh, <laughs> we can certainly mm. make one. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. So this is for me to, 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 to have a look at how... The, your, you know, what, what are your fears around the children or what are the mm. challenges around the children while you're trying to be, you know, in a, in a marriage and, mm. as well, and as well as running your two businesses. So Andy, for you, it's bottle 27 and it's harvest time mm. and it's, it's orange and gold. So you mm. actually, you, you know, for you to, to for, one of the things that the children will admire about you is your intellect. The, yellow, the yellows and golds, the colors are always about intellect and somebody who's really spiritually bright as well. Mm -hmm. So know that by you being in the orange creative business and the way that you are working with the business is going to be a mirror for them to follow. Mm -hmm. So you're actually being a really good dad. You're not, you know, let go of any thoughts that you need to be more present or you need to spend more time with them or, you know, whatever that's going on because you by being who you are is setting the mirror of what it is they will want to emulate because children mm. do what you do, not what you tell them to do. Yeah. Always, okay? <laughs> so, and, you know, and the thing with 27 is it's harvest and it says that everything to do with your, with, with the, with your relationship with your children, you're setting it up that you're going to harvest this incredible relationship with them later on. Wonderful. Okay, so no need for any guilt or any, any worries there, okay? Let it go. 
<laughs> let go. Yeah, let go, let go, let go. And Mia, you picked bottle 15 and it's a, it's a solid olive and it's a magician. So, <laughs> <laughs> so um, I want to say to you that we all have this ability for a little bit of magic inside mm. of us. And you need to discover what is that magic that's inside of you that you can help to to arrange the schedule with the children, to arrange mm. the, you know, the whole family routine and incorporate the business with that as well. Yes. So with this one, I want to say is what what your, you know, to me, you're a manifester, mm. and and you need to tap into that as your magic power is to to manifest and fold time literally, mm. and to, to to don't go. I don't have enough time. I wish I had more time. Don't right. play any of those games. Okay. Really, just go. Everything is perfect. Everything is right where it needs to be in the now moment. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes, we've been moving towards that. And she's a phenomenal manifester More, yeah. too. <laughs> yeah, no, she definitely is. That's her magic. So, so remember, you have the power to make everything fit into the schedule that you need. Okay. To have all the support, the baby care, the, mm -hmm. the child care, whatever it is you need with the children to turn up. All right. Okay. And it's literally like your, your kids can watch you. I can see them. They, they kind of look at you and go, oh, how did my mom do that? You know, and it's <laughs> kind of, it's, it's intriguing for them because they mm -hmm. kind of get that mom does a little bit of a magic thing you know mm -hmm. a little bit of a fairy that waves a wand and goes bing and then magic yes. happens okay <laughs> so that's how they view you Wonderful. yeah and, that. they, and that's again is a really good positive role model to be mm -hmm. for the kids yes so I'd like you to pick another bottle and this is going to be about your relationship because we've got the business covered, we've got the kids covered, so let's look at the marriage, let's look at your relationship, so each pick a bottle. All right. okay. This is where it could get juicy oh, guys, color, color couple reading. <laughs> do, you, do you want to point out the significance yeah. of So I have a question here, yeah. um, I've picked 7 and 27, mm -hmm. which is Mia's birthday. <laughs> so, and the lunar eclipse as well. And the lunar eclipse, as well. <laughs> <laughs> the 727. <laughs> Okay. The numbers are always relevant. Our relationship. Hmm. What do I really think of you, Andy George? <laughs> I don't know. Can you put me in a bottle? <laughs> Shannon, we might have to censor this. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. The suspense mm. of them picking bottles. Because you don't want to pick the wrong bottle. You can't pick the wrong <laughs> bottle. That's not how color works. <laughs> I'm drawn to that one. Okay. okay. And I think I'm going to reach for this purple. Right here. Okay. Oh, isn't this one interesting? Okay. Where shall I put it? Here? Is this a good spot? We can to move it. No, let's move them forward just a okay. little bit so that you can put them in there. All right. Okay, make a little space. Yeah, we can kind of... See, there we go. The two at the back, so the camera can pick them up nicely there. Excellent. Shannon's got them on camera. Okay, so this is very interesting because here you've got the two opposite spectrums mm -hmm. of of the of the chakra system in the in the color system. Mm -hmm. That you know your body is color coded. So the base chakra is red, and the crown chakra, which mm -hmm. is closest to the heaven, is the violet color. Mm -hmm. So here we have that the two of you are currently holding two different. Um, um, parts of what will hold your marriage together but yes. probably is the foundation of the business and, and raising the children as well so Addie you very much have that red um, financial responsibility making sure that every the systems are set up so that survival is ensured mm -hmm. and um, you've got the the spiritual connection in place Mia because mm -hmm. the violet is about remembering that we we're here to serve we're here to, and you you have the kind of checkpoints mm -hmm. making sure that the, that that God's watching us, we better yes. be good. <laughs> <You know? laughs> you, 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 <laughs> yes. So always make sure that everything runs mm -hmm. on track. Uh, you know that that is ethical, morally in in mm -hmm. place. Now together they make the color magenta. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> we did not do that on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> so if you if you had to mix the red and the violet, it makes magenta. Fantastic. So welcome to the magenta show. <laughs> How did you do that? That's the magic. <laughs> That's the magic. So what happens with that is. It says that you 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 each hold a very a, a core um, process, and you you're responsible for 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 your particular path in your marriage to lead your marriage and what your your business and your children's future is based on into that what we call the middle way mm. in in having heaven and earth because this is very earthy mm -hmm. this is very heavenly mm. you want heaven on earth and this is this is why your business is going to be so successful because you're walking the talk mm. you're actually doing it for yourself so you're figuring out you know by having to connect to your material world and you're figuring out why you have to connect to your spiritual world how are we going to balance that that balance that you seek mm. and the balance is magenta 
Yes, the magenta is the color of don't panic. Mm-hmm. The magenta is mm-hmm. the color of God's actually in charge. You think you're in charge? Not really. <laughs> 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 and and part of the learning with magenta and, and combining these two, and this is where, 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 where the two of you are at, is, is to... Yes, you, you, you have to plot and plan to a certain extent. You have, to, you have to have strategies. You've got to have uh, systems in place. You've got to take action. But also to leave a little gate open for the universe to come in and say, try this, mm. try mm. that. Don't, and remember we, we spoke about you were doing some kind of tarot card the other day. Yes. And the devil card came up and I said, <laughs> that's normally about a resistance to mm-hmm. something new. Always be open to new things coming in because that, that, that is what's, what will bring the two worlds together so you can find the middle way. Yes. And that is the, the example that you're going to be showcasing to your clients. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. going to become your powerhouse story. Mm-hmm. I can see you already on stage telling people like, hell, we were stuck. You know, I, yeah. I was out there being service and he <laughs> was out there going, we need to make money. How did we come together and be so successful? Yeah. This is how we did it. And it's actually going to become a program. So this process that you're doing now is going to become a a personal development program you're going to be offering your clients. Fantastic. Because you're going to figure it out. Mm -hmm. You'll get a byline in the creation when we put it inspired (laughs) by Moira Bush. (laughs) (laughs) Hashtag color. Hashtag color. Yeah, I can see that. We love being of service to other couples as well because there there are relatively few entrepreneurial couples who are in, Mm -hmm. in business together. And, and who have issues, the same issues. They yes. don't know how to, to bridge them. And this is magenta is a bridge color. So yeah. you're going to do it. You're going to bring that red and you're going to bring that mm. violet together. Mm-hmm. You I know? love that. Yeah. Great. And, and, you know, it, and, and also just, just on a side note for the two of you, um, you know, Andy, you're the one that has a lot more physical energy right now, a lot more creativity right now. You've got to let him get on with that. Don't, okay. try, don't try and do what he's doing. Let okay. him do the creativity. Let him do the, uh, the red stuff right mm-hmm. now for a period of time. You need to do the, the violet is more than nurturing, the contemplation, the mm-hmm. meditate and let ideas come through and hand it over yes. to him. You know, it, it's more that um, intro, intro, introspective kind mm-hmm. of process with you that's going on. And you need to give her quiet time so mm-hmm. she can get on with that. Right. So this is where the balance comes in in the relationship yep. right now. So when she needs to do that, you've got to occupy the kids and give her an hour to meditate or take time out. Mm-hmm. And when he needs to exercise, when he needs to be creative, you take care of the kids and give him time to mm-hmm. channel that energy. I okay? think you've been watching us. <laughs> <laughs> this is what Oops. we do we pass the baton back and forth yeah. so yeah. much and, and it, it unfolds exactly like that yeah. Yeah. we joke that we my uh, youngest daughter she loves the story of the, the magical porridge pot you tell it to start cooking porridge and it's a never ending uh, pot of porridge and my brain works that way mm. so it's just this never ending cooking up something all the time and I do I do let it run and run and if I don't have enough time to capture that then I then then that's when I start to shift mm. off balance. But yeah. when we can capture that, amazing things happen. Yeah. Like we can take these ideas, and Andy creates the systems, and then all of a sudden we have impact. That's it, right? All yeah. of a sudden we're able to Wonderful. grow something positive. So actually, this yeah. is a confirmation that what you're doing is right. Yes. You don't doubt don't doubt the path you've chosen to follow and the system that you've got in your marriage right now. It mm-hmm. works, and it's going to lead to something really amazing. High five. High five. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, um, can I just ask you to arrange this little pattern or a shape for me? Sure. The two of you play with it together. Mm. All right. I'm going to move this one out of the way. This, this is always interesting, audience, because... Uh, yeah, one might have a shape in mind, another one might have another shape in mind, but when a couple brings a shape together, it can be quite special. I feel like mm. we're playing chess. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. yeah. This one needs to be closer to me. Okay. Because I love it. I'm going to turn that one. Okay. Okay, and then I'm going to. Ah. Candy cane. Okay. Um. It's got a long tail. Candy cane. Candy cane. <laughs> <laughs> so you're both in agreement. This is a candy cane and sure. you're happy with it. <laughs> it's the most colorful candy cane I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So just symbolically, um, this is you, you, you can have your sweets and, mm. and eat it and, <laughs> and enjoy it. And I think by, by Christmas time, you, you're going to um, really, because, you know, candy canes is about Christmas time, yes, right? Yep. So in December, what's going to happen is you're going to be very, very sure about what 2019 mm-hmm. is going to be. You're going to have such a focus 
and know exactly what's what's what sweetens your life wow. um and so watch out january 2019 because you're you're going to do really really well from then on because you'll be very fantastic. super super focused Great. thank you okay all right, right in time for your birthday Perfect. Which is when Andy's energy just rises to yeah. a fever pitch. She'll be in your we're solar high. Astrologically, we're opposites, so that, that <laughs> the, the, the 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 eight and nine making up magenta makes a lot of sense because we <laughs> yeah. tend to be high and low at opposite times of the year. Mm-hmm. Excellent. Yeah. Now you you're definitely a couple balanced at all levels, spiritually, mm-hmm. um, astrologically, emotionally, mentally. Um, you know, it's just you, you've you've got entrepreneurially as well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So we're gonna give our audience their answer to their pick one, two, and three. So for those of you who picked number one, you picked Mia's pick of the week, and it is bottle 25. Look at that. Isn't that delicious, oh, that's girl? Beautiful. That's mm-hmm. delicious. This is the one that I, I choose from the camera every time I'm watching your show. That's the <laughs> bottle I'm going to pick. So she loves this one. Okay, all right. So let me just make sure Shannon says I have to move it to make sure the audience can see it. Can Shannon, can they see it? Oh, well, you have oh. to move the candy cane a little oh, bit. Oh, okay. <laughs> there the we candy cane. Oh, we'll just kind of move it down there a little bit. Way. There we go. You see, this hungry. is li- live show. You know, the producer tells us, right? Okay, are we in shot now, girl? Okay, excellent. So our audience, for those of you who picked number one, you've picked Mia's pick 25, and this is trust. Mm-hmm. So for the week that's coming up, this is whatever's going to happen, whatever's going to come up. Somebody might push buttons. Something might have you feel a little bit wobbly. This is a week to just go into trust. Okay. All right. Um, very often colors like these um, um, forebode or tell us, uh, you know, there could be something that someone, somebody you thought you could trust that you can't trust. Mm-hmm. And it's just an illusion. Because it's sometimes the universe just gives us these little initiations, you know, these little tests to say, mm, you thought you trusted that person or maybe even trusted something in yourself mm. and you might doubt yourself. Don't go there. It's an illusion. Just right. go, mm. I choose to trust. Okay. That's the, that's the, the, the affirmation or the, the mantra for this week. I choose to trust no matter what presents. Is that okay? That's perfect. Yeah. All right. So for those of you who picked number two, you've picked Andy's pick. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And it's bottle 30. Bottle 30. Okay, so are you writing a book, Andy? Uh, I've been a writer for my entire life, so I'm sure there's a book up here somewhere. Well, can you, can, can you it. sit down this coming week and actually write the chapter titles? Sure. That's your challenge, okay. chapter titles. So for those who pick number 30, you have a book inside of you. <laughs> Put some intention and energy in this week. Write down the chapter titles. If you had to get a message out into the world, what would they be? What are those chapters? What are those sections? And you need to start working on a book. Okay. Okay. And you see, you've got wife here. I'll so take she'll... the kids. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. And then number three, for those of you who picked number three, my son Michael, who's my manager, he's back from uh, a trip to the UK and to Italy, and he came and picked a bottle. And it is bottle number 34. Okay, so Michael, my darling, this is for you. And for those of you who picked number three for this week's pick, 34 says, deep breath in and chill. Because it's blue <laughs> colors and turquoise cool colors is all about chilling. It's all mm. about you need to go walk by the lake. You need to go walk by the ocean if, you, if you're in a country where you have ocean. Just be out. It's a whales and dolphins. It's kind of, it's a whale bottle. So it's mm. all about you know, just being in nature, and and I think you kind of you kind of have a story about you met and you met at an aquarium. We did, we did. Yeah. yeah, we were both working at the Vancouver Aquarium. That's how we met. Oh, so it's very appropriate for us to have a whale mm-hmm. bottle here. Absolutely. Yeah. Andy was the shark diver. Ooh. Yeah. I walked in on my first day of work and I said, "Who's this handsome shark diver?" I, <laughs> my hair blew back and it was it was all over. And Mia, Mia was the the salmon princess, so right. we, we have a kids book to write, you know, the shark man and the salmon queen. There's your there's your number two. Like that. so there's that's your book number two. <laughs> and do you get it? Mm-hmm. Because this mm-hmm. is and you got to trust this message. Yes. Are you getting at this as a story lying out mm-hmm. for the two of you? Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. So yeah. my darlings, for those of you who picked number three, this is week to chill out, spend some time with water. Spend some time in nature, go for walks on beaches, any sandy beaches you can find, and relax. So okay. it's deep breath in and relaxing time. So thank you so much for being my guest here today. I thank so appreciate it, Andy and Mia, for both of you coming out here. It's been super, super fun to have you here. Super fun. Thank super you. Super fun. 15th of August, Jennifer yes. Beale Summer Networking Bash. 
um, please come and meet us and um, the previous guests that have been on the show we've, we've all kind of been clumping together yes. and meeting yeah. each other and talking about it's this such networking a fun day. Push. it is a fun, fun day, day. It's, yeah. it's the biggest summer networking event in the GTA yeah. so. and she's, she's at the super yeah. super venue with large windows lots of natural light coming yeah. in it's going to be an amazing amazing venue mm -hmm. and um, so thank you again and please if you want to connect with us we'll see you on the 15th of August okay love you guys lots thank you so much for tuning in thank you thank you Thank you. Thank you.